Nala, you gonna be a good girl? Are you gonna be good? You gonna listen? All right, come on. Team, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Long story short, we are back in the North Island. We came back early. Multitude of reasons, uh, the major one being weather, snowed, the rivers were already flooded and all that snow melt was gonna come through. And we both had pressing stuff back here in the North Island that we, we really needed to get to. So we pulled pin, we came home early, and now I'm back here on the beautiful Tongariro River with Nala. Haven't been out with Nala for ages. I had the opportunity to go back country today, um, but chose to just stay local, just chill, and hang out with Nala because she hasn't been out for ages. Have you Nala? Nala, look. What's this? What's this? You say, say hello. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, so I get a lot of questions in all the videos. Pretty much everyone requests it, you know, like asking what flies do I use, what rod am I using, what line, what, what this, what that, what that. So before I start fishing today, I am gonna go through all of that. Cause number one, well you guys asked for it. Number two, it's all, I haven't, I'm not set up because I've pretty much unpacked through everything in the truck. Haven't got a rod set up. Don't know where my fly boxes are. Don't know where anything is. Hopefully I've brought everything with me and I can show you guys what I, what I use. So I'll bring everything down here to show you. This is empty at the moment, essentially. So I've got to fill it up, but this is Sims backpack. Don't know the model. Quick Google search of Sims backpack. It's quite a large one, roll top. Um, we'll reveal the make and model of this. Oh, this one. oh wait, there is some stuff in here. Sunscreen, just random stuff, head torch, battery packs, stuff from Carol. Hey Nala, how's it going? You're not in the way at all. All right, so normally in the bottom of that, I have a dry bag, it's got a spare change of base layers, spare pair of socks. That pretty much always just lives in the very bottom of the backpack. Sometimes it doesn't get touched for a whole season, um, but it stays fresh, stays good enough to use if you if you need it. Both myself and Alex have required this very patch of clothing when you fall in and it's cold. It's not such a big deal in the middle of summer because we're wet waiting anyway, so really this is pointless. But I still keep it in there because it just fills it out and who knows what might happen. You know, just who knows. Next thing I pretty much always have in there, I wouldn't normally if I'm, um, you know, fishing locally like this, but if I am going back country, I will certainly, even if the forecast is perfect, mint, I'll still always have a lightweight raincoat in there, which I'm gonna put in there anyway, just to fill it out. This is very much different to most fishermen and the fact that most fishermen won't carry this kind of stuff. I carry a lot of camera gear. In fact, the majority of the equipment in my backpack is normally camera gear. So the next thing that goes in is a drone. This is a Mavic 2 Zoom. Um, third drone I've had now. I worked it out the other day. I think I've spent about $6,000 on drones because I keep flying them into trees. Uh, but hopefully this one lasts me a while. And I have this other little camera bag, which, Nala, come on, man. Uh... This just has batteries, SD cards, there's another drone battery in there, and there's a lens that I hardly ever use as well. Next thing that goes in there is this uh, Yeti water bottle. I used to run a bladder. I haven't done it for a few years. Normally I just carry this and a filter bottle that is normally on the side, but it's not because I've got to bring it. Uh, yeah, normally just run this like a litre. Normally does me. Should probably drink a lot more than that when you're out fishing, but I'm an idiot. All right, the next thing which I'm about to put on my feet is uh, the boots. These are the Orvis Pro boots. I love them. Just notice I put a big nick in them here. I love these boots. These are by far the best boots. Did I say Orvis Pro? Orvis Pro boots. Um, these are by far the best boots I've ever owned. They, the first pair I had lasted forever. The second pair I had did start to come away, this bottom piece of the sole. And then somewhere on a big sharp rock, I've put a big, a big dirty nick in here. These ones are relatively new. Um, yeah, but the support and the traction that they offer, I need ankle support. Um, I did have a pair of Sims flyweight, featherweight boots. You just can't help yourself, can you? Um, a while ago they're pretty much still pretty much brand new i've retired them to a, a pair of you know gui um, a pair of guiding boots that i give my clients because they just they're a great boot they were grippy and everything like that and by all accounts they last a long time 
um, but they just didn't have the ankle support that I need. I've like blown my ankles apart playing basketball years ago so many times that I can roll my ankle walking on flat ground. So I need uh, really good ankle support and these boots offer it. Some people complain that there's too much and it's too stiff around the top, but it's few and far between. Highly recommend them. Yeah, at least give them a go because they are an amazing boot. As it is summer, wet wading, it's pretty warm today. Back into wet wading, which I love. I much prefer to wet wade than I would wear waders. Uh, but these are just Sims wet wading socks. I don't know the model. There's a heap of numbers on there. I don't know. But that's Sims. I think they're like two seasons old now, these ones. Um, maybe even last season. I think I brought them last season and then nail a bit of hole in them straight away. Dang dog. So I'm going to quickly put these on my feet. All right, the next thing I'll quick, uh, quickly go through is my hip pack, which is another Sims hip pack. Uh, I used to have a Patagonia one, which I preferred the size of and everything, um, but I lost a few fly boxes because it used to fall way open. So I went to this one. This one is waterproof. doesn't really matter with me because I never remember to zip it up properly. Um, but it's pretty, it does the trick. It's pretty good. When this one dies, I'll probably get it again unless something else pops up that I think might suit me better. There's a bazillion flies on here. I never reuse them, just clean it out once in a while. Um, but on the, I always pretty much always carry a knife, especially in the back country, uh, just because who knows. There's this zip here full of trash. Uh, that there's full of trash. One thing that is in here is a Nala <whistles> trash collector, Smith's Creek trash collector. Really hard to find. Smith's Creek stuff at the moment. They're not. I don't know what's up with them. But they're just not doing their thing. It's important to have that. You shouldn't leave any line or any tippet or anything on the river. In fact, you should always try and come away from the river with more than you went. Uh, it's a really good strategy to have. It just means that you're making the place better. And I'm pretty much always filling this up with trash every every time I hit the river. I'm filling it. I'm picking stuff up. It goes in here. If it's really big, it goes in the side. These elastic bits on the side of the pack. If every time you go to the river, you can make it a better place, then if everyone does that, it'll be amazing. There'll be no trash anywhere. Wouldn't that be marvellous? So in here, I have two fly boxes. I used to only have one fly box, but now I have two. Um, the major vast majority of these flies are all Category 3 flies, with the exception of a few dries and a few of the eggs. Which I'm not really using the eggs anymore, but the vast majority of Category 3. Category 3 is always linked below. They're a great company. They tie some really great flies that catch loads of fish all over the place. Um, so go check them out, link in the description. And then I've only just recently gone to two fly boxes. That's a CNF box. Sorry, I should have said that. They're both CNF boxes, but I love this box. I wouldn't, I've had, I'd never buy another box. This is the one you want. Dries in these little leafy things that open up. Nymphs. I haven't found a better box in this one, but, in a, you know, buy a lot. The other one is a smaller SNF, CNF box, and it's just got unweighted flies size 16 size 18 up to size 16 with a tungsten bead i was just running out of space in that other box for you know the summertime and having more smaller unweighted flies um, and i put a few dries in here just to fill it out as well so yeah that's me yeah so this is very new to me i'm not used to having two boxes in here but anyway i have two boxes in there another random spool of tippet New Zealand strike indicator stuff. Uh, a weird streamer thing. How'd they get in there? Uh, some split shot. Oh, my knife! I thought I left this in the South Island, but obviously I didn't. Sweet. So that is pretty much the contents of that. So that goes right there. All right. Well, that is pretty much it. The net I use is an. Is this is cheap? This is like thirty-five dollar net. Um, I've had this one for years. The net bag seems pretty good. It just seems pretty good. The elastic broke off it, but I click it in through here. Uh, yeah, can't really fault this net too much at all. Works pretty well. But the way I carry that on this pack is this gets rolled up. Goes through there. Boom. The other thing that goes in the hip pack is a um, just a little... A GoPro on a stick, that's what I use for the underwater stuff. It's a GoPro Hero 7, which I just turned on by accident. That's the other thing I forgot. I 
on the backpack, was on the shoulder strap here. I um, hang, this is all my spools of tippet and some floatant. Just hangs on there like that so you can get to it real easy. The other piece of equipment that I use, this does most of the filming, is a GoPro Hero. What is this now? They're up to nine. This is the nine black. I've only run this for a few weeks now, but I, I do actually really like it. It's a much wider, uh, better audio and much wider angle so you can see more. I've got a battery pack mounted on there because I hate changing batteries and I leave it going too often so I go through them way too quick. Really complicated thing when it gets in a tangle. It's like impossible to undo. Yep, that's a nightmare. Did I get it? Nope. Rods, 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 rods. So this is a five weight rod. Five weight cross S1. Uh, use it during the winter a little bit, but definitely more during the summer. This is a rod I go to all the time. Apparently, I am sponsored by Loop. Um, so I am slightly biased, but I've used a lot of rods and these are great. Um, I use their six weight Q and six weight version of this rod, or SX version, which is slightly newer during the winter. Um, but most of my summer stuff is done on this rod. Apparently I'm getting one of the new 7Xs very shortly, but we'll, we'll see. And I'll let you know how that goes. Anyway, this is the rod I use. Love it. I'll probably never give this thing up. It's one of the best 5 weights I ever have used. I think it won the, the other 5 weight I have in here, which I do use also, is the OptiStream. Uh, I think this one won the 5 weight shootout for a couple of years. Um, but I, use, I don't use it on the Tonga Needle as much more smaller river stuff I use this guy. The reel, the reel I use is a EvoTech, I think it's four to six or three to five. No, I think this is three to five um, size. Uh, works really well. Got a bit of a squeaky handle at the moment, but it wouldn't be a trout hunting in trout hunting NZ video without a squeaky reel. Good leader I always run this time of year is 12 foot six weight. 12 foot six weight? 12 foot not 12 foot six pound uh normally tie a few feet of good tippet off the end of that as well fly line is i believe this is a rio grand ah uh, sorry i believe the fly line i believe this is a rio gold i pretty much always hang on it says right here i can tell you nope that's a stain yeah so i'm, pre I'm pretty confident this is a rio gold uh, it's an awesome taper i do love the taper the sa lines do tend to last a little bit longer. I haven't used them that much. They're too expensive. They're like 200 or something dollars in New Zealand, which is just crazy for a fly line. Um, but they are good. They are they are good. A couple of SA lines, but I pretty much walk into the shop and I'll get either the SA or the Rio Gold, depending on what's available at the time. All right, so I've got a couple of feet of uh, six pound fluoro tied off the back of that, which I'll probably keep on there. And I'll just tie on a fly. Oh, there's one right here. A, uh, what is this one go? This is a category 3 101. I'm just tying this on as transport and keep it all together at the moment. I'll set up the flies properly on the river. Um, all right, I think we are pretty much ready to go fishing. This is really a video in itself. Uh, one thing I thought about was with these fly boxes, if you want me to do a video specifically on the contents of those two fly boxes, let me know in the comment section below and, uh, uh, and, and I'll do it. All right, I've been meaning to do this video for ages. Well, this part of the video for ages so i'm glad i've finally done it uh let me know what you thought about this bit and i'll try to do more in the future if you guys like it this could be a video by itself so i'll sign out here thank you guys so much for watching remember to like the video subscribe comment what you want to see and uh, i will endeavor to do it in the future all right peace